The wonder and beauty of the planet we call home is all thanks to our rich biosphere. But we are facing a critical challenge. We are experiencing unprecedented biospheric conditions that we don't yet fully understand, with CO2 levels and temperatures exceeding historical baselines. And this is really what we have focus on in the Centre for Ecological Dynamics in a novel biosphere, Econovo. Together with an interdisciplinary team of researchers, Centre Director Jens Christian Svenning is trying to find new ways of looking at this emergence of novel ecosystems. And at the same time also try to understand how we can better direct the development of these novel ecosystems in positive ways for biodiversity, for ecosystem functioning and for people. At Econovo, we are trying to bridge a crucial knowledge gap between understanding the worldwide spread of these novel ecosystems and the profound effect they have on how our biosphere functions. One of our key research areas is understanding whether and how novel ecosystems support ecological complexity and biodiversity. And we think that reinstating large animals or megafauna can help with that because they often promote ecological complexity, which we expect will make ecosystems more resilient. And to test this idea, we measure ecosystem responses at our field sites around the world using both new technologies and traditional approaches. So bringing back wild large herbivores would be expected to increase plant diversity because they transport seeds, they cycle nutrients, they eat from the dominant species to give the less dominant species a chance to thrive. They also create vegetation structure, and this is likely to lead to more microhabitats for other species. And these are precisely the processes that we expect would support biodiversity and ecosystem functioning. And if we acknowledge that novelty is an unavoidable part of the future, then our best management strategy would be to focus on promoting these processes that enhance the complexity of ecosystems. Another key research focus is understanding how ecosystems and early humans have adapted to climate change in the past. Professor Felix Rieder is currently investigating this question. I'm intensely interested in understanding the mechanics and dynamics of past novel ecosystems. We use archaeological evidence to understand the actions of humans in these ecosystems and we use paleontological evidence to understand the animals and the plants within these ecosystems. By feeding all these data into sophisticated computer models and laboratory analyses, we'll be able to understand just how these novel ecosystems emerged and how climate, humans, plants and animals interacted within them.